What's up guys? All right, today we're doing something brand new. I'm gonna answer your direct questions through our Instagram page. You can submit your video questions there through a direct message. If we select your question, this is yours, okay? We're giving away these custom black on black cash flow caps. First one is going to the Abbots. Abbots, thank you so much for submitting your question, asking about all-in-one mortgages. What's up guys? This is the Abbots from North Georgia. Question is, what are your feelings on all-in-one loans? Um, I'm wearing pretty good shape here. I feel like we're ready to take off, uh, ready to jump into coaching. Uh, I'm just kind of cheap and I gotta get over that. Now, the reason that you would ask this question is because you like the idea of paying off your home more quickly, but you don't wanna spend all your savings paying off debts, right? Now, the good news is this, that you can, in fact, do both. And there are several ways to actually get the best of both worlds. One way is considering this AIO mortgage, all-in-one mortgage. This product is designed to combine your mortgage and savings, but there might be better strategies than this. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. There are three key features of an AIO mortgage. The all-in-one mortgages allow for the combination of a mortgage and savings. They require the combination of your mortgage, a checking account, and a home equity loan, generally a home equity line of credit, all into one loan. The second is the purpose of an all-in-one mortgage being to seamlessly use your extra cash flow in order to pay off a mortgage quickly, which is what we teach here on this channel. This is also allowing you to maintain liquidity beyond typical home equity lines of credit. And finally, third is the extra principal payments that are made on your all-in-one mortgages can be accessed anytime, going back into that liquidity reasoning. So what is an all-in-one mortgage? Well, an all-in-one mortgage is typically gonna end up costing you somewhere between $50 to $100 for an annual fee and our 30-year adjustable rate mortgages. For these loans to meet IRS guidelines, they must combine a mortgage, home equity loan, typically HELOC, and checking account into one account. The IRS is not gonna allow taxable interest paid and interest received to cancel each other out. Each is actually gonna to have to be reported separately. Now, the single account offers all of the features that a typical bank account does. So you have you know, ATM and debit cards, you have automatic bill payments, oftentimes they'll provide you a checkbook, but it allows every spare dollar that you have to be used to pay down the mortgage until it's needed for something else, like your savings generally would. Now the result offers several benefits here over just simply applying your extra cash flow to your mortgage. First, because the homeowner's bank account is built directly into the mortgage, the homeowner is actually gonna receive a much higher return on your deposit. And that's because the money is used to reduce the amount of interest that's assessed on the loan, which will almost always be at a much higher rate than what traditional demand deposit accounts are really able to offer you, which is next to nothing. Secondly, this type of account is still going to give you instant equity in a way that traditional mortgages are unable to. Now, while most home equity lines of credit do offer access via a checkbook or even a debit card, this type of hybrid product really can be even a little bit more flexible for you, which I like. For instance, if the homeowner does not have the cash to make a payment on a loan in a given month, then a lot of times no minimum payment is even required because the minimum interest due is just simply advanced from the available credit line. So that, that does provide slightly more flexibility. One last thing, all in one loans are fully reversible. So extra principal can be retrieved at any time, which solves a major problem inherent with trying to accelerate traditional, you know, what they might call one-way mortgages. But most all-in-one mortgages do require a FICO score of around 700 or higher and really only benefit borrowers that have a steady, positive cash flow. Let me repeat that. 700 or higher FICOs and a steady positive cash flow. Let's go ahead and review a hypothetical example of an all-in-one mortgage. So let's assume that I need $300,000 and going rates are at 5% and my take-home monthly income comes in at somewhere around $7,000. If I'm approved for a conventional 30-year fixed loan, my monthly payment for principal and interest will total $1,610. Now, after all of my monthly expenses, such as just day-to-day -day living, mortgage, other bills, debt servicing, et cetera, let's say I'm able to save $1,000 per month. If I use an all-in-one, also sometimes called an offset mortgage, the $1,000 per month that would normally go into savings would be used to actually reduce the mortgage balance for interest payment calculations as well. And assuming that the rate on the accelerated loan stays constant at 5%, which it's not likely to, it is possible for me to pay off my loan in just over 13 years instead of 30. That's right, I could literally save 17 years of my loan and over $170,000 in future interest costs. $170,000, phenomenal. And better yet, 
I still have the $1,000 I saved every month available to me for any reason at all. Now, perhaps most importantly here is that this type of mortgage, along with other similar strategies, can help motivate uh, some borrowers to get excited about reducing spending where it doesn't feel like a sacrifice, it doesn't feel like you're restricting yourself because you're able to see your funds being used to pay down your loans. So it is very inspiring. Now, let's talk fees and rates for these all-in-one mortgages. Most of all-in-one mortgage lenders are gonna charge this 50 to 100 annual fee on top of other standard loan expenses. And generally, higher rates do apply for accelerated mortgages. Keep in mind, refinancing or getting a new purchase mortgage is often gonna end up costing you between two to 3% in closing costs. So they can be very expensive. Most accelerated loans, are 30 year adjustable rate vehicles that are gonna be tied to the LIBOR index. Now the adjustable rate for this type of loan could be 1% higher than conventional loans unless the borrower opts to pay additional points up front, for instance, and buy that rate down. And in some cases you're able to actually lock in portions of your loan onto a fixed rate. Now at the heart of the matter is, this, is the question of what is more important here, rates and fees? or the total amount of interest saved over the life of the loan. Now, obviously a key factor that we cover here on the channel a lot is that higher interest rates can actually end up costing you substantially less if the loan is paid off much more quickly than a lower rate loan over a longer period of time. It's the term that affects your overall interest costs equally or even more so than the rate itself. So remember that the time for repayment on an accelerated loan is not fixed. Therefore, the borrower's projected surplus of cash flow must be taken into account when making the comparison between your various options. The benefits of this type of loan can be substantial. Suitability is really still the key concern here, just as it is with any other acceleration strategy, any other strategies that we talk about on this channel. There are other techniques that can be just as effective with fewer costs and risks involved than the all-in-one mortgage. Financially irresponsible borrowers are gonna to wanna to avoid taking one of these loans, even if you can qualify for it based on your cash flow and your credit scores, possessing too much availability through credit because of the equity line aspect of this, of the account, it could trigger spending sprees for some people. And that's gonna add to the debts principle, of course. Another way to decrease mortgage-related debt here is to obviously secure a mortgage with a low interest rate and then apply our lump sum payment paycheck parking strategy that we review here on this channel. Because this technique, as opposed to all-in-one mortgages, is a really easy way to avoid additional refinance expenses while also preserving the record low fixed interest rates that are currently here. By accessing much smaller amounts from an inexpensive debt weapon and applying them directly to the mortgage, you could still maintain the goal of having access to the dollars that you need to pay down the principal of the mortgage. So you pay the mortgage off equally or even faster than you would an all-in-one mortgage. It's safer in the event that interest rates do climb upwards significantly, and you don't have all those costs associated. So several benefits with considering alternatives to all-in-ones. But do remember that not all lenders, regardless of the loan type that we're talking about, whether we're doing all-in-ones, whether we're getting long-term fixed loans, whether we're using other types of debt weapons to attack those longer-term fixed loans, when it comes to pricing and when it comes to underwriting guidelines, not all lenders are considered equal. Lenders, frankly, are not always straightforward. Underwriting guidelines are going to vary between these lenders. So you're gonna to wanna to follow specific strategies to find lenders that you can rely on and that you can trust, which will save you both a lot of time and money as you use debt weapons to build your wealth over time. Be sure to lock in your coaching right now in order to get expert assistance with your plan. We're not only here to help our audience avoid common mistakes that cost tons of time and money, but we do help you identify opportunities that are based on your unique circumstances as well in order to help you use these tools for many different benefits. You can access the calendar by visiting freecoachingcalendar.com and selecting your preferred path. We do even offer coaching for free through that link. I do wanna thank you so much for your question, Abbots. Hopefully this answer was useful for you. We're gonna send you your own custom black on black cash flow cap for submitting that question. I'll have Mike reach out for you so that you can get an address sent over and we'll get that to you. To get your own questions answered here on the YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe, then jump over to our Instagram account at VIP Financial Ed to submit your question through our direct messaging. Until we see you then on the next video, you make it a great day today and take care.